going to be doing a hair tutorial since my hair is straight on this really pretty big fishtail fluffy braid. I really love these braids and you have to have like really thick hair to be able to do it and then to make them even bigger you add hair. So today I'm going to be using clip-in extensions. I got these from Hair Luxury Shop. They match my hair perfectly. They're straight. My hair straight. So I was like, I need to do it. I don't usually wear hair extensions, clip-ins, sew-ins, anything like that. Because my hair, I obviously have a lot of hair already. But for this hairstyle in particular, I wanted to do it and I did it before. But it wasn't as big and as full and long as I wanted it to be. So I was like, hmm. Add in some clip-ins for just this hairstyle and it'll be perfect. And it turned out really cute. So yeah, I'm going to be doing this cute braid for this video. And then as well as I'm doing a giveaway with Hair Luxury Shop. And we're going to give away a combination of hair clip-in extensions. 16 inch, 18 inch, and 20 inch. These can be colored, bleached, and hair like straightened and everything. They are real hair. And so we're going to be giving that away to one lucky winner. So the rules are going to be just to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my vlog channel. I'll link them in the description box below, as well as Hair Luxury Shop's YouTube channel, and then follow us both on Instagram. And then the last rule is going to comment below in the comments on this video what you would do with these hair extensions or what kind of hairstyle would you do if you won these. So yeah, good luck everybody, and let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. Because I feel like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, that Daniel long hair. Okay, so what you're going to need today is going to be some rubber bands, some combs, one a comb, and some clip-in hair extensions that match your hair. They're 24 inches, I believe, which is like a little bit longer than my hair. And I like how it's like thinner at the bottom because it looks really natural. When I put them in, people wouldn't even know. But I don't have any in right now. This is all my natural hair and I'm only using clip-ins for this hairstyle for the type of braid that I'm trying to get. So yeah, because I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair. And I'm going to, let's see. Oh, that highlight. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and section my hair right here at the bottom. Like this. I'm going to pull this part up. Okay, after you do that, so you have this part in the back down. I'm gonna go ahead and get, so these clips, they come with like ones with three clips, ones with two clips, which is gonna be like right here, and ones with one clip, and one with four clips, which is one little size bigger than this. So the clip-in is really easy and simple. You, this is it closed and this is it open. You slide it in your hair, and then just clip it, and it stays there. I'm just going to get this clip in, start in the middle, clip it, and clip it, like this. So now I'm going to take the top off again, section off another piece to add in some more. All the sounds that you made my bullet. So I can see the difference between the length. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, get the one with the three, unclip them, put it really close to where you parted it, clip it in, clip it, clip it, and they're secure, so I'm going to try to pull your weave out, girl, it's going to stay. <laughs> This time I'm going to grab the close to the top of my hair where it's like longer, the one with four clips, because it's longer and my head's bigger there, you know what I'm saying? Hair's getting nice and thick. And then again with the one with four clips. So now that I have the whole bottom half 
clipped in. Now I'm going to go ahead and part my hair where I want it, part it on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one with three clips again and we're gonna go on this side, like right in the middle. You wanna make sure it's not visible. And now that I have everything in, I'm just gonna brush it out. Nice and full and long. You can't see none of the clips. Yeah, this is like really thick. It's like really thick now. So after you have all of the clips ends, after you have all the clip ends ends, <laughs> Go ahead and pull all of your hair to your desired side for a side ponytail. Mine would be my left side because I part my hair on the right. So I do it on this side. We're going to do a fishtail braid. It's going to be a normal fishtail braid at first. And then we're going to make it huge, okay? So go ahead and get your hair. Split it in half. Okay. Try to make it a little bit even. Now we're gonna get a piece from the outside of this and then put it to that side. Get a piece from the outside of that. Put it on this side. Basically, you just keep doing that. It's like a regular braid, but you only get a little piece from the outside and pull it to the other side, just like a regular braid. I don't know if I'm explaining this good enough, but. And when you get to the end, go ahead and leave a little bit hanging. Put a rubber band. Make sure to put the rubber band tight. So this is what it's going to look like at first. So now go ahead and spray it with some hairspray. <clears throat> that was my face. And I like how like the braid, like you putting it in the braid, it like hangs out. Like it gives you like a cute little swoop right here. So the next step for the big braid is going to be, you start off at the bottom, you hold it where the rubber band is, and then you start on one side. So we're gonna start on this side. Go ahead and start pulling the little sides out. Like so. And then do the other side. And then after you do that, go ahead and spray it one more time. And this is what the final look looks like. It is so cute. It's like Rapunzel. Here is a close up. So yeah, that was my tutorial for this nice side braid. It's really good for like if you have somewhere fancy to go and you need a hairstyle and you don't want to wear your hair down, this is perfect for it. Very classy. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget about my giveaway. And don't forget to check the description box for the rules if you forgot. And yeah, so thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!